Vision Exchange video tips, reading with magnification. It can be very frustrating when using magnification as the tendency can be to get lost when you get from the end of one line trying to find the beginning of the next. So here are some things to keep in mind when reading. First of all, make sure that you've got the magnifier in the correct position. It should be parallel to your reading material. This usually means that if a person needs to hold their magnifier up closer to their face, they also have to raise their reading material. You should be looking straight down through the center of the magnifier. If the reading material is on the desk, a person has to lean over again to get the most of the lens power. The trick is to Find the beginning of the line. Sometimes it's handy to use your thumb as a point of reference. Scan across reading the line. When you get to the end, go back over what you just read until you get to your thumb, if need be, and then drop down to the second line. This works because when you scan back, you're going back over what is familiar, so you know you're in the right place, and then it's usually a much shorter distance to get down to the next line. If you try to read and then jump back, that is where people get lost. In addition to that technique, you might also want to consider using a blank piece of paper, a ruler, or some sort of straight edge that will block out the rest of the text and then slide that down line by line to help you keep on track. If you're using video magnification, uh, it's much the same. Again, you might want to place your thumb to indicate where you wish to start. So when you find your thumb, there's your point of reference. And with the video magnification, you can use the bottom of the screen to help you track along the line. Again, the technique is the same. When you get to the end of the line, track back over what you just read. There's my thumb, and then carefully make your way down to the next line. I recommend that you encourage your group members to seek the services of a certified vision rehabilitation professional such as myself to learn these types of skills. If you have any questions about leading a low vision support group, please call me at 312 Two three six eight five six nine, or email me at polly.abbott at second sense.org.